See, the more I do this, the more I realize that I've never started any of my videos off with the proper classic intro. Hey guys! It's I see you've returned. Welcome back to chaos. And by chaos, I mean my channel. And the title of this video is pretty obvious. So last week, I asked you guys on my Instagram and Snapchat to ask me questions. And you did that for some reason. And today, we're going to be answering them on my handy dandy iPad. Yay! Because I'm too broke to afford a camera. But instead of just sitting here in front of the camera and answering your ass's questions, which what most YouTubers do. We are going to migrate to different sections of my house because I'm home alone and have nothing better to do with my time. Hi, how are you? I so, um, without further ado, I guess let's get started then. Wait, wait. If you guys could just give me a second while I unlock it. It's a first gen, it's really slow. Sorry. I didn't quite get that. Question number one. I don't wear glasses. Wait a minute. Question one. How old are you? I am Zeeb y'all. 17 years old. I get asked this question a lot. I don't know if it's because I don't look it. That's exactly what it is. But yeah, no matter what anyone says, I'm 17 years old. 17 and a quarter because my birthday was three months ago. Do you think that aliens exist? Yes. I don't understand how people don't believe in aliens, to be honest. We are literally living on a floating rock in the middle of nowhere, and you really think that there isn't any other form or species of life possible? <sighs> you, my friend, are in denial. What is your name? Um. <laughs> Oh, see, it's funny because like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm like five videos deep and I've never once said my name at the very beginning. My legal government first name is Navia, but people call me Navi. They don't like saying the A. It's like too many syllables. We're just gonna like kick that one to the end. Or off, basically, like completely. So yeah. What's the most stupid thing you've ever done? You know, I, I've done a lot of stupid things. I, I'm, I'm like a klutz. Well, there was that time that I got off at the wrong bus stop. There was that time where I drank a bottle of soap. There was that time where I cut off this kid's ponytail. There was that time where I ate a bottle of glue. I'm kidding, I've only done like three of those things I just listed. I think I need to reevaluate my life. <laughs> Would you sell your kidney to save your mother's life? What kind of question is this? I would literally sell my kidney to pay off my college tuition or to meet Zendaya, whichever comes first. Of course I would sell it to save her life, duh. I know you guys are probably looking at me like I'm crazy, but if you really think about it, you only need one kidney to live. Just go ahead, get your money, give it up, sell it. However, I'm not encouraging you to sell it on the black market. No, you're worth No, you're worth Where do you shop? A store? There's really, there's really no designated place where I get my clothes from. Now, there are places where I shop a, a lot, frequently. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Even though I own neither, I would preferably want a dog because dogs, when they're little puppies, they're just, they're so adorable. And then when they get older, they're like so loyal and they like, they give you more love than any human being will on this entire planet. Cats on the other hand, cats are cute. I feel like when they're kittens and they actually need you, but then when they grow up, they're so sassy and demanding and aggressive. Like teenagers. Corny pickup line. Give me a moment. Um, does that one look good? That one looks good. If you were a library book, I would check you out. How are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. I wish I were cross-eyed so I can see you twice. You want to see a picture of a beautiful person? Okay, this one's cute, but it's kind of dark. If nothing lasts forever, will you be my nothing? I'm gonna use that sometime. Where do you live? I think they want your address. 
My address is how do you feel about putting pineapple on pizza? I personally don't do it, but if you do it, you've reached the next level of weird that I will never be able to achieve. I don't like pineapples that much, and pizza I'm very picky with. So pineapples and pizza, they don't mix for me, they don't. Where do babies come from? <laughs> the baby store, duh. You see kids, um, when a mommy and daddy love each other very, very much, they go to the baby store and they, they, they load up. They load up on babies and baby toys and baby clothes and baby food and baby diapers. However, kids, you might want to be careful who you go to the baby store with because, um, see, sometimes the dad, he has a tendency to go to a different aisle or, or a different store to get some milk. And he, he, um, he kind of, kind of has a tendency to not come back. Just adds up. What do you use to lay your edges? So glad you asked. Um, if you want me to be honest with you, literally just water, what? water, and toothbrush. It's kind of ironic you asked that, and I really didn't do do my just today. Do you count your footsteps when you walk? No. What is something you say on a daily basis? Crackheads are actually really productive members of society. How you do this? Uh, Guys, can you believe it? We're really on an adventure. You know, it's all about perspective. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, she's got food in her new thing. Hey, being a senior, I'm broke. Want to see my ankles? What if I don't get accepted? That means I'm paying to get rejected. Can I like die? You don't appreciate my ankle pics now, but I can guarantee you some man in Saudi Arabia will. Do you play any sports? No, 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 no. I, I don't I don't do sports. Um, you see, the thing about that is that like I'm probably one of the most unathletic people you will ever meet or come across in your life. Uh huh. I did them when it was required, but when it comes down to actually like serious sports, like actually playing on a team, no, you don't do that. What's the Wi-Fi password? You know what? Give me one moment. I'll be right with you. It's two. How do you manage to do YouTube and still be involved with school? Mwah, I love you. I love you too. That was so sweet. To be honest, I don't know. I really, really don't know. Like. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I really don't know. This is honestly all a learning process because like, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to figure out how to do this the right way. And to be honest, this is something I've wanted to do for a long time. If it's something that you really want to do, you're, you're gonna find a way to like make time for it. It's kind of like crackheads. Like they always find a way to manage to somehow do drugs. I'm not saying YouTube is my drug, but I still manage to find a way and make time for it. You see what I'm saying? No, you don't. Why are you addicted to Reese's? Why am I addicted to Reese's? Why am I addicted to Reese's? Why am I addicted to Reese's? And my head came so close to hitting that coffee table. Where do I begin? Whoever came up with the idea to combine chocolate and peanut butter together in a cup is like my savior. Here's Jesus. And here's the inventor of Reese's. Yeah. All the things I was talking about selling my kidney for earlier, uh, yeah. Did I not mention the fact that I would literally sell my kidney for a lifetime supply of Reese's? Oh yeah. You only need one kidney to lift, people. <laughs> Reese's are just so good, you just don't know. Who you dating, how long y'all dating for, and when can I slide in? <laughs> well then, you wanna know all of the tea, don't you? Don't you, buddy? Okay. I'm dating We've been dating for He lives in And I don't have any water slide or any slide in my backyard currently But the park has plenty of slides if that's where you want to go so you know we can 
Sly. <laughs> Most embarrassing thing you've ever done. You know, in hindsight, I'm pretty sure I've done a lot of embarrassing things in my lifetime, kind of like how I've done a lot of stupid stuff in my lifetime. But I think publicly the most embarrassing thing I've done so far was my last YouTube video. That, that was a new key keeper for me. And what's even more sad is that it probably won't be the peak for long. It just won't. I know myself. It won't be the peak for long. And that is all. Those are all the questions you guys have asked me and I've answered them uncomfortably. Hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. If you liked it, please demonstrate so by giving me this do it and if you've decided after watching this video that you're not completely sick of me hit the subscribe button i thank you all for not getting too weirded out and making it to the end of this video have a great morning slash afternoon slash evening slash whatever time you've watched this and i think that's probably gonna be my new catchphrase now okay bye